Good evening. Uh, I'm Adam Johnson. It's a particular honor to be counted among so many fine writers. Uh, I feel very, very fortunate to be here. Uh, my book, my book is called Fortune Smiles, and it's a short story collection. And uh, I'm going to read just a page from a short story called Dark Meadow. A knock at the door wakes me midday. Since I sleep fully clothed, I'm able to answer right away. By sleeping with your clothes on, you don't need to disturb a perfectly made bed or even fold the bed back into the couch. <laughs> when I open the door, a police officer is standing there. He nods toward the yard. Those are some pretty serious flowers, he says. They're from the lady that used to live here, I tell him. I'm Officer Hernandez, he says, Jaime Hernandez, with the Crimes Against Minors Task Force. A colleague of mine, Sergeant Rangsdorf, said I might speak with you. He said you helped de-encrypt a couple laptops a while back, that you helped him solve a kiddie porn case. Just then, Ronza comes walking by. You finally busting that creep show, she calls out? Someone's been peeping in the neighborhood, and I knew it was him. I could see it in his fucked up eyes. The cop lifts his hand in a semi-salute that says, I heard you, ma'am. Thanks for the input, but Ronza isn't done. Look at him, she demands. He's got Ricky Ticky Tavi eyes. <laughs> when she's gone, Officer Hernandez offers a knowing smile. There's one in every neighborhood, he says but he is now studying my eyes. <laughs> Please, I say, come in. He steps inside. You just move in, he asks, and I almost tell him that I've been living here for seven years. Instead, I shut my mouth and watch him sweep his eyes along the empty white walls and blank refrigerator and neatly made fold-out bed. You never really get settled, I tell him. <laughs> when you do, it's time to move again. He says, staring at the bookcase that houses my National Geographic magazines, rows and rows of yellow spines. We stand at the kitchen counter, glass of water, I ask, or a half pint of milk? That's a lot of magazines, he says. I didn't know they still published that one. I have a lifetime subscription, I say. <laughs> What did that set you back, he asks, hollowly, for he is really scrutinizing the contents of my fridge when I open it. There's nothing to see, just rows and rows of neatly stacked cartons of milk. <laughs> I received the subscription as a prize when I was a boy in the Sea Scouts. I was our troop scout of the year, though I didn't do anything special to earn it. It was more of a consolation prize, really. The cop returns his gaze to me. Sea Scouts? It's just like the Boy Scouts, but on water. <laughs> you learn navigation and maritime skills. The troop I was in doesn't exist anymore. It disbanded after our troop leader took his life. <laughs> he hiked up to Penga Canyon and hung himself. The cop watches me fold open the milk carton spout. Sorry to hear that, he says. I'm Sure, his legacy lives on. I take a swig of milk. Well, I say, the magazines keep coming. <laughs> Hernandez ponders the tiny milk carton in my hand. You know they sell that stuff by the gallon. <laughs> I like to take things in increments, I tell him. Thank you.